Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Terra Luna. Especially we're going to be talking about Kayvon as he's getting into some trouble. Some legal actions have been taken against him in South Korea. At the same time, we're going to be talking about how Terra Luna might start pumping as Bitcoin and Ethereum other major altcoins are taking a small dip. As a lot of investors are starting to come back into Luna, putting their money in and trying to get it to pump heavy. Before we get more into it if you're here for the first time you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with terra luna i highly recommend you scroll down tap the red subscribe button while you're there slap a like on the video it is completely free to do so but it will just help the youtube algorithm push the video to more people more people see the incredible side of terra luna they decide to invest in it at the right time it starts backing up and all of us make a lot of profit so make sure you go down and slap a like on it other than that let's get straight into it so to begin with today's video first of all before we look at the one hour chart i want to show you guys the breaking news which is quite scary so you guys know that kayvon was getting into trouble from the south korean government and he was being called in just to investigate his case. Let's just say the lawsuit has been filed against him in the South Korean court and he will be fighting against it. This is crazy. It has been filed and it will be due to the fact that Luna did have an insane crash as soon as UST decided to depeg. A group of South Korean investors appeared to file a court case against Terra Luna founder Kayvon over the blockchain's crash. Local media reports suggest that several Luna and UST holders have decided to hold Kayvon accountable for the recent price collapse. They are being presented by law firm and also whose employees are also reportedly among the Luna holders. So this is going to be a really bad scenario for Kayvon because you guys know everyone in the legal team or Terraform have decided to resign or four or five of the main people have decided to resign and they were probably a big holder of Luna as well. So they could be going against him and that would be a little bit scary for the whole of the Luna market and also the crypto market in general as South Korea after seeing this are thinking of tightening what to do and what sort of restrictions crypto markets should have, not just Luna. As you guys can see from here, South Korea considers tougher-ing crypto laws after Terra Luna crash. In a bid to avoid further incidents like Terra crash, South Korean officials are looking to build to tougher rig regulations around crypto or legalization around crypto now this is going to be a big news as you guys know that the seven big countries are also looking into it while united states japan also some other big companies and big countries are looking to regulate crypto and the way it will be used in the future now this is some crazy news and at the same time Kayvon is going to be facing some big, big problems. Now, before we get more into the news, I want to show you guys the one hour chart and something really interesting. So if we decide to look at the RSR line, you guys can see finally from the past six hours, it has started to show some moment and it has started to climb a little bit higher. Now, what is really interesting at the same time is you guys can see Bitcoin and Ethereum are starting to crash again. While Bitcoin is under 30K, Ethereum is under 2K. On the other hand, Luna is not showing any signs of movement, but just one hour ago, we did have a strong buy orders come in. Is that due to the fact a lot of people decided to take money out of Ethereum, Bitcoin and all the other major altcoins and decided to put into Luna to try to pump up the price? I mean you can debate that but overall you guys can see it has been very stable yes it's still a lot of movement because if we decide to look from the bottom to the top that's still close to a 14 percent increase in the past six hours which is a lot higher compared to a lot of major altcoins do but at the same time compared to what it has been doing recently that is a very significantly not movementy position that's probably the best words to use at the same time it has been in a consolidation period a very strong consolidation period in the past 24 hours and the chart is starting to look like it is forming a symmetrical triangle that is slowly closing in now if this symmetrical triangle closes in you guys know every time a symmetrical triangle closes in there is obviously going to be an uptrend that follows straight after now what is really interesting for me personally is on the zigzag line you guys can can see it is very clear that it is forming a symmetrical triangle and it is not going to be coming to an end 
in a long time rather it's coming to an end in the near future and if it does decide to do it in the next 24 hours it could mean that we could have an explosive move for Terra Luna while the whole market has a strong pullback. Now that's just a suspicious and also just a idea that I'm throwing out there but if it does decide to happen that would be pretty insane because I know a lot of you guys are looking to take a lot of profit but something that is not looking a little healthy so yes 5% up but something that is not little healthy is the trading volume. The trading volume has fallen close to 1 billion and the trading volume to the market cap ratio right now is close to 80%, which is actually under 100%. I personally think the way Terra was actually performing, if it did decide to stay over 100 or 150%, that would have actually significantly helped boost the price up even faster. I mean, it is still doing very well, but I know a lot of you guys want to see 2, 3x overnight. For that to happen, the trading volume has to be significantly higher compared to the market cap, and right now it is not looking very good. Something else which is going crazy is the Terra Luna community rejects, completely rejects the fork idea where they completely take away the old and come up with the new chain. Now, if the new chain is released, the old chain will have no use and Terra Classic will no longer be connected to the actual trademark, which is Luna. Now, a lot of people do not like the idea, even though they will be receiving an airdrop if they were holding onto UST or Terra Luna, they just want Terra Luna that is out right now to just make a recovery and the best way to do that is start burning the supply the supply is just insane it's close to 6.5 trillion which is a very big number to try to burn down from if they do decide to do it and significantly pull it back up that would be a miracle in my opinion if they did do it but at the same time i personally think it would be really hard to do it as the people who bought around this point would become millionaires and the people who bought around $80 would never be able to get their money back. So it would be really hard for Kayvon and the whole team to come up with an idea which satisfies the whole of the market and also whole of the community. Right now the community is completely against this idea as 90% have worded against the fork and if they do decide to do it that would be a very big deal. Billionaire Bill calls Terra a crypto version of Pyramid Scheme. Now, I do not agree with it. As I've mentioned a couple of times, I still think this was not part of the plan. This was just an attack which went against Luna and it actually happened when Luna was not prepared for it. Yes, it was their fault because they were not prepared for an attack, but at the same time, it was not intentional. So I think you can't blame it on a pyramid scheme. That's just my personal opinion. Again, let me know down in the comment section what you think. And finally, you guys can see the resignation has come at the wrong time. While the whole market is coming down, if Luna decides to crash even more, a lot more people are going to lose trust. And personally, I just don't like that fact that Luna is losing so many people's trust around this time. Other than that, let me know down in the comment section if you guys have any thoughts. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to this channel, do you want to stay up to date with everything, I highly recommend you guys scroll down and tap the red subscribe button. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.